The Arts on the Mill race tradition has highlighted the growing artist community in Goshen since 2013. The 2020 event had to be virtual due to COVID-19, but this year, everyone was back in person. Food and drink vendors, musicians, and artists gather to share their craft and skills with their community once again. Tasha Friesen, a 2015 Goshen College graduate, was one of the artists that set up a tent and displayed artwork to sell at this year's Arts on the Mill race. At the event, Tasha talked about her journey with art. Well, I have always wanted to be an artist my whole life and um, I was kind of just like discouraged from that track by my family and by society. Everybody's like, you can't be successful or make an, a living as an artist, but just keep coming back to it. Friesen talked about what she loves most about working on her art. I love the conceptualizing stage. I like nothing ever turns out the way that I first see it in my head, but I can see it from the beginning how I want it to be. And like, and there's so many stages to pottery specifically that like from like putting the lump of clay on the wheel to like actually pulling it out of the last firing is such a long time and so many like factors come into play that I don't have control over and it's really it's a good challenge for me. She shared some advice for future artists. It's worth it. Like it's so hard and exhausting. I am a one person operation. I do all my own marketing, all my own, like everything. It's all out of my garage. It's exhausting. I'm poor all the time, but it's worth it. Like I don't, yeah, I spent a lot of my life like cramming myself into jobs that were more stable, but were not what I wanted to do. And it just, it wears on you. And I just burnt out on every single one of them. And yeah, just doing art all the time is, what my soul wants to do and it's worth it and you should go for it. Taja Friesen is just one example of the talent we have in Goshen. For more information on upcoming artist events, go to goodofgoshen.com. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Gabriella.